I was born in Seattle. Lived on the West Coast almost all my life. I'm young, 90 years old, and still kicking. My dad, if he found the Bible in the house, he'd burn it. Till I was about 10 years old, I never knew nothing about God or anything to do with him. Wherever he was, Seattle area, they started to go to Missouri. But they got as far as San Jose, California, and run out of everything. That was during Depression days anyway. And he went in town trying to find something to work at, something to earn some money with. He found an Assembly of God Church that give him something to eat and something to take home to his kids. And this made an impression on him. It wasn't too long afterwards where we was in church whenever the church was open. When I was a boy in my teens, I was not saved as far as salvation is concerned, but Dad would make me stay on my knees in the prayer room for about an hour and a half or two hours. And I used to catch up my naps that way. I could kneel down and kneel, lean on the bench and go to sleep. A while later, I wound up in the service in Africa, England, France, Belgium, Holland, Luxembourg, Germany, and a German prison camp. 11 months of combat with one scar, and they took it off when they took my leg off. I lost 50 pounds in 54 days, a German prisoner. Three of us escaped and walked three days until we seen an American tank in the distance with the gun pointed off to our right and uh, somebody seen us and got up in the turret of the tank with a pair of binoculars. During this time, he studied us, swung the gun around and pointed it directly at us. And these two boys that was with me said, what do we do now? And I said, just keep right on walking, straight towards that tank. We wasn't in complete American uniform or nothing, but walked to it anyway. He came up and looked at us again and turned the gun back to where he had it before. When we got up to the tank and walked around the far side of it, it was a Canadian. And he said, I'm cooking you some breakfast. I suppose you guys are hungry. Anyway, rode back with them, wound up in the hard France. When Germany fell, we was eight days from New York. Germany surrendered. They shipped us back across the United States, of course, to California. And all this time, even during the war, I would pray, but I can't say that I was saved. I'd cuss and swear and smoke like anybody else, but I also prayed to God. After the war, I married a little gal named Iris. She was 15 years old, and her mother gave permission to get married. Lived with me 65 years. Passed away at 80 years old. A year and a half ago, thereabouts. But she took me to the little assembly church in Monta Vista, California. It's 10 miles east of San Jose. Pastor preached a message and I listened to it. A lady come down the aisle and 
grabbed me by the arm and took me down to the altar. And I accepted Christ. I've lived for him most of my life since then. Not always good, but conscious of him at all times. I don't know why I'm still alive. I didn't expect to live more than three weeks on the invasion of France. How much longer I'll live, I have no idea. But I'll thank God with me wherever I go. And I'll thank you for your time.